For thousands of years, peoples of the First Nations have walked on these lands. As we gather, we acknowledge that we stand on the traditional territory of the Tla'aman Nation. May we live with peace, respect, and friendship on this land. Well, hi there, and welcome to a family fun sing-along time with Powell River United Church. I'm really happy to see you. I'm glad you've joined me, and I hope that you'll sing along. We're going to start with a song called, I'm Gonna Shout, Shout, Shout. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout out. Today I'm thinking about Orange Shirt Day. It's coming up on September 30th. And Orange Shirt Day is a day for us to think about residential schools. Think about First Nations people who went to residential schools as children. And to remember what a difficult time it was that parents didn't want their children to be taken away to go to school somewhere else that the children and youth did not want to go away from their community to go to school. And to remember that the children and young people were not treated well at residential school. So we want to make sure that something like this never happens again. And we want to remember that every child matters. Maybe you've seen that written on some orange shirts or some signs. Every child matters, every child, everywhere deserves to be treated with respect and love. Well, I'd like to share with you a song that was um, translated into the language of the Tla'aman people. It's, um, the song in English is still, still, still. Sometimes we sing that song at Christmas um, some, I've seen some words to that tune that talk about still, 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 you can hear the falling snow or, um, still, still, still the little baby sleeps. And we're talking about the baby in the manger, but even though it's not Christmas time, it's a really nice, gentle song. It's got beautiful words. And I thought that you might like to learn it in, um, the Ayajutham language. Okay. <laughs> We could sing it in English as well. Still, still, still. It goes like this.
is the word for child. And when we say more than one child or many children, we say chichui. So you might see that word on the sign by the old hospital site here in Powell River, where there's a count being kept for how many unmarked graves have been found of children who passed away while at different residential schools. There's a number there. And I think it says chichui, the number and then chichui. Chichui meaning children. Okay, so would you like to learn a couple other phrases and I adjude them. One is to greet someone and say, how are you? Ajichwit, ajichwit. Okay, and another phrase that you might want to know that you might want to share with people in your home, your family, haknomich means I love you. Haknomich, haknomich. I wanted to share a little bit of information with you today because one of the ways that we can show respect and make friends is to learn about First Nations culture. So I wanted to share with you the importance of the cedar tree. The cedar tree was so important to our Coast Salish people, our people from Tla'aman. The cedar tree could provide a big enough log to make a canoe to help with transportation. Cedar bark could be used for weaving clothes, for making balers for the canoe, for making um, cedar wood can be made for, used for making utensils. The roots of the cedar tree can be used for weaving a basket. Here's a picture of a woman, a family member of ours weaving a basket. And the baskets could be used for all kinds of things. Cedar can um, also be used to help you feel better. If you're feeling really sad or you've gone through something that's upset you a lot, sometimes an elder might brush you, brush over you with cedar branches to take some of those sad feelings away. And cedar a cedar branch can be protection. Sometimes First Nations people in their home might put a cedar branch above the window or above the door for protection. Or maybe put some cedar branches inside a medicine bag. This was made by our family member. So we might put some cedar branch in there and then wear the medicine bag for protection. Okay. Let's sing um, the song, This Land. But we're going to use different words. Instead of saying, this land is your land, this land is my land, we're going to say, this land's not your land. This land's not my land. We are guests here of our First Nations. This land's not your land. This land's not my land. We are guests here of the First Nations. Let's work
We're going to close with a song that's called I Am Somebody. I Am Somebody. Now, um, one of the lines in the chorus says, I'm a child of the Most High God. I'm a child of the Most High God. We could put in there the word in Ayajutham for God, for Creator. It's the same one God. Um, you might know, you might have heard the word Hegus for chief. The word for God is the chief, the leader that's up on high. Shet is the word for high or up. So Shet Hegus is the word for God, for creator. And sometimes people say Ams Man, meaning our father. Shet Hegus Ams Man. Shetegus Amsman, you might hear if you ever hear an elder do a prayer in the Ayajutham language at the opening of a gathering. So let's try putting that word into this song, I Am Somebody. for joining me today. So I hope that you might take part in a community walk that's happening on Orange Shirt Day, three o'clock meeting at the old hospital site uh, in town site. Okay, so take good care and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.